Now in this session we shall go for examples of this instruction formats. So here I have considered multiple expressions expression number 1, expression number 2 and this is my expression number 3. Now while writing these expressions in the 3 address, 2 address, 1 and 0 address instructions always we should keep in mind that we should try to use minimum number of instructions so that the program length can be minimized or optimized and number of distinct registers should be also be minimized. In the case we can go on reusing those registers whose uh, who can be reused. Okay. So, minimum number of distinct registers should be used and minimum number of instructions in the program while implementing these expressions. I am leaving this expression for the homework. So, let me do the uh, select this one um, to write it in the three address instruction format. How can I write it? See, at first in the numerator we are having a plus b into c, we are having a plus b into c. So, I cannot perform a plus b until and unless I perform b into c. So, I am writing this one in three address instruction format. What is the three address? After opcode we will be having three addresses. What is the first one? There is a target address. What about the other two addresses? They are the source addresses from where operands will be coming for the operation and the result will be stored in the first address. So, let me write, write it. So, I am writing this one as mul. So, mul mul r1 b comma c. So, I am multiplying b and c and storing the result in r1. So, let me write the comment that will clear your doubts. So, r1 is equal to memory content against the variable b into memory content against the variable c. So, now I shall add it with a. So, add r1 a comma r1 or you also you can write so r1 a. So, r1 r1 a. So, we are getting this one r1 is getting initialized with memory content for the variable a. So, numerator has been done and everything is now kept in r1. So, now let me use R2 or R3 other registers for the denominator calculation. So, now we are having this. So, E into F. So, go for mul say R2 E and F and it is nothing but R2 is equal to R2, uh, R2 is equal to memory content for the variable E and memory content for the variable f. So, E f multiplication has been done and kept in R 2. Good. Now, see this this R 2 is to be deducted or subtracted from D. So, D minus R 2 has to take place. Remember, its sign its sign is plus and its sign is minus. So, sign is always sign always precedes. So, D minus this. So, I am writing this one. See. So, I am going for this sub say R 2 D comma R 2. So, it denotes that R 2 is equal to memory content for the variable D and R 2. So, memory content for the variable D and R 2. So, this, sorry I should put this one minus because it is a subtract. So, m d minus r 2 will be kept in r 2. So, this part has been kept in r 2. Okay. So, now we know that this part is residing in r 1. This part was initially residing in r 2. Now, this whole part is now residing in r 2. Now, let me go for g star h. Let me go for that. So, go for mal r 3 g comma h. I cannot use R2 because R2 is holding some partial data or partial result. So, now R3 will be initialized with memory content for the variable g and it is multiplication. So, memory content for the variable h. 
so that will be dumped onto the R3. So now, so R3 is this one, R2 is this one, and here we are having this plus. Here we are having this plus. So I shall go for add. I shall go for add, and the result. Sorry, I shall I, I shall be going for add. So add R2, comma R2, comma R3. So R2, R2, R3. So that means in the comment I can write. There is the R2 and there is the add, there is R3. So now this full denominator, initially it was in R3. Now this full denominator is now in R2. So what I am supposed to do? I am supposed to do R1 by R2. So that will give me the answer. Let me check. So now I shall go for div. Where to keep this result? In x. So I'm going for x, comma, r1, comma r2. So what is this? If you go to write the comment, so x is equal to r1 by r2. So in this way, the full expression can easily be expressed in the three address instruction format. So please try to apply the same knowledge or concept on these two expressions. I am giving to you as a homework. Thanks for watching this particular session.